hickory. And that hickory folded in half. So I think what we're gonna do there is we're gonna we're gonna tie that top back to the stem and then tip it over so that we can just fell it. And with that tied back, it won't uh, it won't you know lean out this way and snag it and cause trouble. And then this. Now Mitch, Mitch knows the nobies. Uh, I've been looking for this. I think I can do a double fall. Like this is a wind throw. But it's laying in this dead one right here. And if we can save that little hickory, we will. That's just a spar. And I think we can drop it. And that little hickory will be right in this crotch here. I think we can come down and not wreck it. So if we set this one up for a fall and then come over here and fall this, get this all cut and then go and make the back cut on that, kind of step off to the side. Maybe this falls right down and we save that little hickory. That's the plan. Game of trees. We're out here having fun. This is kind of backwater of the Wisconsin River. It's a mud hole <laughs> right now. But anyways, we're having fun. No one here. I better be careful. Oh, we got some deer. We got some deer running through the woods. We're felling this ash too. I almost forgot. Do we have a back lean to the cabin? Or do we got a forward lean? There's our cabin. Oh, I think we got a forward lean, don't you? Sure. We can wedge bang it over. I'll make some wedges out of that hickory. All right, we got a nice little drop zone there. See if we can't hit that stub. It'll be fun. What a day. Man, pinch me. I'm at work. So I'm going to tie this hickory top back. Now, I don't know that I have to pull it very hard. done a plunge cut I was a little hollow in the middle so I had to stay at the stump a little longer than I wanted to because she started to go and I didn't want there to be too much back hinge so I stayed there kept cutting and it broke over just fine so that worked get this camera off of here that worked to uh tie that limb back 
it kept it close as it fell over it's gonna be a treat getting my rope off of there yeah so I had a bunch of holding wood over here still but it was all rotten in here so I had to stay there and finish that cutter it would have been breaking over here it could have barber chaired with this rotten in here so I stayed there and got her done but that worked you know could have plunged that and there was good holding wood back here if I did a plunge cut so but I would have had to hug it pretty close anyhow it worked it's on the ground all right one down two to go so so uh, yeah I was just gonna drop this but then I started looking at it <laughs> I got me a line I'm gonna run up there it's fairly stable and there's a bunch of stuff that's not hanging on anything that's gonna hit that hickory that I can drop off of there so I'm gonna do it you know you got the technology do it I'm gonna save that hickory totally and uh, I'm gonna be tied into a different tree so you know if I have to bail I have to bail uh, but I don't think I will this this is pretty solid it's just gonna stay there I mean well can't call it solid but I'm not gonna cut off anything that it's leaning on up there and I'm gonna have to cut a notch here to get this to fall over so I'm not too afraid but uh, there's a nail there's a nail all right I suppose I should throw a lanyard on because I'm I'm hitting the ground over there if I come off of this so it's not gonna be fun if I come off of this and I have the lanyard on but it's gonna be funner than trying to line up and see where I'm gonna hit that deck <laughs> it's, it's definitely gonna be funner than that I remember doing a scenario like this and I I came off and I was going right at the porch and it had all glass windows across and I'm swinging like right at the porch and I put my feet out on the on each side of a window and my and my spurs punch out the window but I didn't I didn't like go through the window <laughs> but that was as you can tell is a memory in my mind that I will never forget. Oop, oh, oh, it was pretty fun. bitternut hickory here you can count on holding wood for sure even when you don't want it even when you think you cut your side curse like I said in somebody's comment section if it's hickory cut it free don't wait for the hinge the hinge is never gonna break until the worst possible moment Oh, I cut a spongy moth right in half. Look at that. I cut it, a, I called it a spongy moth right out of the gate. Maybe I am going to be able to, you know, get accustomed to this. I better get my slack out of that. I want to make sure, you know, I'm not cutting something that's actually holding something.
Oh, look at you, devil. Okay. Alrighty. I'm pretty sure this is free. Okay, I don't think this is on anything either. Famous last words. I don't think. Oh, see how it hangs? Man, that'll haunt you. I'm far enough away from everything, but it will hang and not let go. All right, so this above me is, let's look back, see where I'm going. I am going on a ride. Well, I got my lanyard on, so we're not gonna do the flip around now. I got a long ride if I gaff out. Let's see, what are we resting on? Like this branch is kind of in that little hickory. And honestly, that one probably is. Okay, but... That stuff probably breaks out when I fall this. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna crush that little house there, but I might miss that. Um, I can take this out behind me. Can I lean back and I can maybe lean back and get, I got it just tied with a bowling. Cause the, uh, the anchor hitch kind of comes undone when it's just sitting there doing nothing and it usually does nothing. But then the bowling kind of helps me distinguish. Plus it has a different carabiner. Okay, I could pull this up tight and lean back against this. Holy mackerel, that wasn't tight. Uh, I got a bunch of slack in my line there. That's no good. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Slide me out, you devil. You devil. Okay, get here, so I'm all on this. Am I stable? Not that heavy if it goes on my line. Yeah, going on my line a little bit. Look at that. Hickory. All right, I can get that when I go down there. Okay. I think I want to cut that off so it doesn't wreck the white pines. I think this stuff is going to pull through. Oh, we got that boat over there. Well, pretty sure that's going to go on the other side of that hickory. So that's going to direct my fall. But I might go pull that boat forward a little bit. Or I could tiptoe out there and Take that tip off. I could eliminate my weight here. There's, there's nothing on this. If I get rid of this, that's about what I, well, it's not what I weigh, but with everything else I've taken off, I'd say we're getting close to what I weigh. 
And for those of you sarcastic people that are going, I don't know, Kev. I think I heard your wife talk about you losing some weight. But, you know, I think, I think there's 230 pounds of hickory on the ground already. This thing hardly swayed. It's very stable. All right, we're gonna do this. Look at that, look at that. Just a little piece. No, I'm not gonna let go. If I drop all this off, Totally save that hickory. I can angle that that way. Okay, if this frees up, that'll come in there more and that's gonna lay on there. And that's well into that. I don't think it goes anywhere. What do you guys think? <laughs> I, I think it's gonna stay. I'm gonna go for it. I think it'll stay. We'll know if it sits down into this curve. Oh, it sat down. It sat down. I'm not gonna move. I came up. I lifted. Now, if I drop cut this, it's gonna snag on that. I could just run up there and take those off. But if I drop cut this, that butt will probably, it'll probably hang there, it'll hang there. Just enough. That butt's gonna go that way. Let's, let's see if I called the shot. Oh, I think I called it. I think I called it. I might not have shown you. I just checked the angle of my camera. Might not have been right for the I me mean, pointing. When I was pointing around, you might not have been able to see. It was stuck on that hickory branch over there and on that white pine. And then it flipped the, the butt around. So now I'm nowhere close to that boat. And I can actually now take this whole spar off. myself under here <clears throat> oh that's exciting I'm glad I came up here <clears throat> this might get a rotation with no not pretty long one. nope almost straight stayed Stayed horizontal. It was butt heavy, so it came off and then started accelerating at the butt. See what this does. No side curve. Oh, hard. I feel no oh, see that tear? It never lets go. But I tell you, cut it free. If it's hickory, cut it free. Let me cut this down. Keep my lanyard on. <laughs> Let's 
So the reason I ended up taking this whole spar off is client kind of likes that that dead snag there. All right, I'm stable in the tree. I'm just gonna flip over. And so now I've I saved that standing snag too. The woodpeckers come and nail it. Probably keep them off his house too. It's not very comfortable cutting this way. I'm gonna switch hands. Let's see what it does. Look at that. Wow, was that a tear. Hickory, cut it free. Stay on the cut on hickory. I hope I've demonstrated that today. I did this on purpose. That's not the way I cut hickory. <laughs> I cut it all the way free. I just stay on that cut. As it's coming over, I just stay on it, stay on it, stay on it, and let it go. If my lanyard was on that, that was uncomfortable at a minimum. Look at this. Look at this. Is it still on? Is it still hanging on? It's still, it's still hanging on. It's on my rope now. Oh, now it's gonna jam me up. Good thing I'm strong. Piece of bark still hanging. Oh, they're gonna say, what kind of moron was cutting on that hickory where he got that big tear? One a person that was trying to demonstrate something, folks. Do not let hickory hang. Cut it free. Cut it free. We'll go cut a notch on that one. Then we'll come back here and we'll cut a notch on this one. Get my chaps on. Don't forget your throw line. That'd be just like me getting something all right we got to go out and cut that front notch on that one first now the question is I got to come out here and do my finish cut I could just drop this out flat out drop this out but then I don't know if, if that's going to tip over so I don't want to cut this flat out and if I come up here and I'm making the back cut the benefit I have is that that's going to push this over it's going to be a slower moving operation than if I drop this out and that falls rapidly so I think my plan I think my plan is is the safer plan.
very shallow because I'm going to do a plunge cut here. So that all I have to do is cut the back strap and I can get out of it. So then I, I know I'm plenty behind. Uh, I came through just a little above, but I'm, I'm okay. Uh, anyways, you don't want to like play the line, you know, because you can't tell where the bar is at. So you shoot towards the back and then trim it, trim it to the line. Get the Jeff Schroeder axe. Thank you, Jeff. We really like these.
close on that side and then break this way just a little. That's what I'm going to hope for. this free and it pivoted over here with the with that weight free and that weight hung I was able to drop right I don't even think I skated that trunk I might I might have bumped it. all right well Mitch I didn't get to drop two at once Oops, I don't think I ran out of gas there. I'm gonna try to get the phone shot right here. Nice little hinge. Yeah, we're <laughs> we played with the lights, but we're clear. All right, Game of Trees, like and subscribe. We're having fun. Tree.